work holding are associated and renowned for mechanical work holding, but you also offer vacuum work holding solutions. Can you tell our audience what applications they lend themselves to and what products you have available? Yeah, we sell a, a lot of vacuum. On the machine behind me, we have a, a vac mat system, which is a, a vacuum fixture, a modular, so you can make it bigger. It has a vac mat onto it, which you can machine into, so you can cut parts out. Generally used for sort of bigger parts, flat parts, uh, thin parts, which you couldn't normally clamp in a vise. We also do a grid fixture, which is basically an aluminium fixture full of a grid pattern. You fill the pattern with a uh, seal to suit your part. So again, this is very versatile. You can do smaller or larger parts. Uh, you just vary the seal to suit. We also do a, a metaphor fixture, which is for doing things like foils and very thin parts. Another fixture we do is a slot fixture, which falls down onto a rubber silicon mat, and you just pierce this mat to suit your part. And finally, we do special fixtures. So if you send us your part, we'll manufacture a vacuum fixture to suit your part. So lots of different variants in regards to vacuum solutions. Let's concentrate on the particular solution behind you. Now, you mentioned holding uh, thin walled parts. Is this to stop distortion? Yeah, this is to stop distortion and vibration. Often, if you're holding a thin part in a vise, Firstly, it distorts, and secondly, you get vibration when you machine across it. Now, you also are well renowned for zero point. Now, you've got a bit of a unique feature with this particular vacuum solution. Yeah, so we've actually put studs into our vacuum fixture. So again, we can change from vacuum to vice in, in a very quick time. Instantaneously? In, instantaneously. Also, the, the vacuum fixture has a, a, a slip in and slip out air pipe, so there's nothing nothing to undo there either. Can you tell me about the mechanism in which you get the air to the vacuum? Yeah, so we, 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 we have a pump. There's two types of pump. You can have an oil pump, which you would need a liquid separator with if you're using coolant. Some people dry machine, so therefore you wouldn't need that. And secondly, there's a liquid ring main pump, which takes the liquid from the coolant and runs it through the pump. So from the pump, we come to a manifold. The manifold has got a tap on it where you turn it on and off for the actual vacuum fixture. The manifold can also be wired into your control. So if you lose pressure, it's got a pressure gauge inside and it will at least stop the machine. So the machine will not run if you have no pressure at the vacuum mat. So you've also got safety features built in. Now, with all the variants of vacuums that you do, obviously they lend themselves to different applications. Would you assess your client's applications and then choose them the appropriate solution? Yeah, we would normally see what they've got, how many parts they got, what the parts are like, and then we would suggest a solution from that. And like most of your products, they're all interchangeable with the zero point? They're all interchangeable with the zero point, and the, um, the, the fixtures themselves are modular, so they can be joined together to make bigger fixtures. Paul, thank you table. very much for your time. Okay, thank you.